All right, so first thing I'm gonna break down basically my entire routine, what I do, how I do it, and my mindset behind it. A lot of people, their goal is to look like Seabum. Mine was always Geralt from the Wild Hunt. I didn't start this way. Back not too long ago, I was a lot heavier. And then I decided to settle in, get my diet right, and start exercising more. I do tons of cardio. I wake up about six days a week at three o'clock in the morning. One hour of moderate to high intensity cardio. So what that means is my heart rate is generally between 130 to 160 for an hour, sometimes an hour and a half. During that session, I usually burn probably about six, seven, 800 calories. So that's about six, maybe seven days a week of cardio. So about seven hours a week of cardio. When it comes to the actual weightlifting portion, that's honestly my least favorite part of exercise. But the way I do it is I do it five times a week and I do one body part per day. I don't think that's optimized. It's just something I like and it fits in my life schedule. I tend to do it in a pyramid type way. I start with 20 light, then I go up 15 heavier, then I go 12 heavier, then 10, and then I get to a point where I fail at eight. So I basically get to eight and I cannot do any more. Once I get to that number, I do three sets of eight at that failed weight. For example, Monday I'll do chest. And when I do chest, I generally do regular dumbbell press. I'll do flies, pec deck, and then I'll do incline or decline press as well. And that's the same thing where I do my rep ranges 20, 15, 12, 10, 8, 8, 8. eight. I try to do very slow controlled movements and push. I come down very slowly, pause, and then up very slowly as well. I wanna try and not ego lift and hurt myself, I'm almost 40, so I try to do very controlled movements, steady and not ego lift. Sleep break. On Tuesdays, I do arms. I generally start with straight barbell curls because I like to do the heaviest, hardest one first, and then I'll go to incline curls. Uh, I'll usually do some sort of isolation curl exercise. Each exercise, takes me about 15 minutes because I do it in that longer set. But I like to try to do a smaller group of exercises, just really hard. On Wednesdays, I do shoulders. Same kind of thing, I start with the hardest exercise first, either straight overhead press or dumbbell press. And then from there, I go to a smaller isolated type movement, maybe flies. I really like reverse pec deck as well. Occasionally like the painters or, or whatever they're called. <laughs> Thursday is best day or back day because I feel like that helps the most for the archery. I'll start with pull downs, uh, then usually um, the pull backs. I tend to do a lot of pull ups as well. Wide grip, closer grip, because that's the closest analogy for getting stronger on the bow is that wide grip pull down motion, especially for heavyweight war bows. Fridays, I like to do tricep. Except I tend to do a lot of dips. Skull crushers are awesome. And there are even some really good cable pullback exercises I like to do also. You probably noticed the one thing missing was legs. I honestly don't do legs at all. Um, I do lots of cycling, sprint cycling, track cycling. I like to be strong cardio wise. I don't necessarily need big muscle mass. I want to be able to be quick and have endurance. I don't do really anything aside from the bike. So if you made it to the end of the video, congratulations for putting up with me for that long. My workout is not optimized. I am not a fitness trainer. I am not an expert in any capacity. This is just what I did for a long time and it's just consistent growth where I've just done it for years and years. So I'm sure there's things I could do better, but in reality, my goal is to be lean, healthy, and then just have some muscle mass. So I hope this helps in some way, uh, answer all your questions about what I do, but this is probably the last fitness video I'm gonna do because all I really wanna do is shoot archery Sling slings, throw axes, and break stuff with swords.